One of the questions I get asked from brand new freelance writers is, what does freelance writing pay? I also get asked if you can actually make a living as a writer or what the typical rates are for a freelance writer, right? So I thought this video, we can explore how much you can make as a freelance writer by looking at different rates for writers as well as different databases for rates. All right, we're gonna look at that. So let's go into it. So first, if you don't know, my name is Alma from alnacane.com and I'm your actionable freelance writer. So let's get into it. Let's first look at the different rates based on your title as a writer, as well as your experience. And so the first group of rates that I'm gonna show you are from ZipRecruiter. You can also source them from Payscale and other uh, databases out there. Uh, for rates and we're going to look at what you can potentially make per month uh, based on the type of writer that you are now as a preface these rates are for experienced writers not novice ones i just want you to be aware of that all right so let's go and look at these so the first one is a blog writer salary so it says here from zip recruiter that you average around six thousand a month and so what that equates to, if you break it down, that might mean like three projects a week at around $520 each, or you might do four projects a week at around $390. And that would equate to this income status right here. But again, I mean, for brand new freelance writers, you know, your freelance writing rate will probably be lower than that, but that's definitely a goal you can get to. And it is a relatable, goal that you can get to. It's not something that is unattainable. The next salary is the ghostwriting salary. And so it says here you can earn around $5,300 a month. I'm sure you can make a lot more than that. For example, a lot of ghostwriters ghostwrite books. And so they may set up a contract for, you know, $20,000 in the next several months to ghostwrite a book, you know, or whatever, you know, how many pages, how many words, and then base your rate on that. So you have a potential to make money. I know one ghostwriter made, I think, around $100,000 in a year ghostwriting books. So definitely it's something to consider. If you don't want that fame or if you don't want to be known as a writer, you can definitely ghostwrite. The next one is just a what an average freelance writer, if you just term yourself as a freelance writer for hire, could make, and that's around $5,200 a month as well. So again, this is something that's quite doable. A copywriter salary. It says here you make $4,900 a, a month. So it seems a little bit less than what a freelance writer would make, but so I'm a little bit suspect about this rate here potentially. I know copywriters can make a ton more than if you were just a freelance writer or a content writer. So keep that in mind. Uh, you as a copywriter are doing conversion type of copywriting. And so that elicits a higher tier price for your projects. All right. So you have the potential to make, you know, 10,000 a month or more based on how many projects you take and what those projects are. All right, and then let's look at a marketing writer. So this could be something like, you know, you're a digital marketing writer, a business marketing writer, things like that. And it says here you, you have the potential to make $6,300 a month. You're gonna have to look at how many projects that is per week and what you are pricing those projects. As a digital marketing writer myself, I also had a family to take care of. So I didn't take on as many clients as say someone that doesn't have a family or that lives on their own could. Again, you have to look at those circumstances to base your rate and then how much money you can potentially make based on what freelance writers are paid. So now let's look at what Clear Voices infographic says about what actual writers today are being paid for online content. So this survey was done in 2018, but I mean, you can still glean a lot of good information about this. Um, it does break down a lot of different type of features on your writing and the type of writer that you are and even you know demographics and your gender. So it looks like 78% of us are women who do freelance writing. Based on this survey, they have 28% were beginners who took this survey, 25% were expert writers, so professional writers are 21% and intermediate are 25%. And it says here that professionals are seven to 15 years while intermediate are three to seven years and expert are 15 years or more. How much do freelance writers charge per word by experience level. So again, it shows here that, you know, as a beginner, you're going to have beginner rates. You have to show your credibility online. You have to show potential brands that you are a legit and professional writer. And that takes time to establish. 
and that's gonna reflect on your rate. Don't expect as a brand new freelance writer that you can charge 20 cents a word. Even if you have a journalistic background, I would definitely not just get out there and be like, well, this is my worth. This is what I know I can write. You have to prove that online. So you might have to backtrack a little bit and then work your way up. And you can do that quickly, of course. Experts here are getting paid a dollar and above. So, you know, they've had 15 years of writing. So of course that's what they're gonna be making. And beginners are around 10 cents a word here. Another one is, we can look at the gender, how much they get paid per hour. Now I don't advocate for hourly pay, but some businesses might want you to do an hourly rate. I know for editing, I was charged an hourly rate. Okay, content types. So what are businesses seeking right now? Well, writers that took the survey were writing mostly blog posts, articles. So this is great. This is what I do. And this is a reoccurring type of freelance pay. 51% were also doing email newsletters, which I am breaking into. 46% social media content. And then here are some uh, eBooks, website copy, print, and research papers. And you can see you know, on a demograph, what that looks like. So there you go. Based on what writers are doing right now, most of them are doing blog writing. Most of them are women. You're going to have varying rates based on if you're a beginner, intermediate, professional, or expert writer. Now let's look at the American Writers and Artists Institute's uh, database. They are the AWAI. And I'm sure you're very familiar with this if you've done any research online for freelance writing and writing content online that you have come across this website. So here is the copywriting pricing guide that they have. You don't need to put your email address or anything. You can just click on the button and it will download to your computer as you can see right here and you can open it up and this is what you get. So in this guide, it will share with you different types of pricing that's up to date as well as gives you some information about you know what's happening right now with covid recognizing your skills as a copywriter finding those skills and what it means and in the guide you can see here some ranges of prices based on certain copywriting projects so you can see you know if you just want to charge keyword research how much that would cost if you want to do you know updates page updates banner ads or text ads, an article, it ranges between 250 to thousand dollars. So you can see the rates here are, are vary because that takes an account of your experience level, right? So if you're a beginner, you're going to, you're going to charge a lower rate than if you're a professional expert level. So that's something to consider when you're deciding, you know, what does freelance writing pay? You have to look at all those factors. I recommend to my core students and write your way to first one K to charge a minimum of 10 cents a word because you are fresh out of the gate. You're brand new. You don't have a presence online, so you can command that rate. And then you can start increasing your rate after you start landing clients. Cause you're going to have proof. You're going to have testimonials. You're going to have a portfolio that's more geared towards your niche. And you're going to figure that out over time, what your ideal freelance writing niche is. So all of that's gonna play into your freelance writing rate and what freelance writing pays. So I hope you found this video helpful. I will drop the links to these resources down below so that you can look at them yourself and decide what you want to charge as a freelance writer. All right, and if you need more help, make sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my video on sites that pay so that you can start gaining clients and making money writing. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.